story time, a rodent under my bathtub. Hi guys. So today, as you can tell by the title, <laughs> it's going to be a story time. I've never done a story time on this channel, but I decided to do a little story time with this quarantine at home. I'm trying to come up with some content for you guys. So I thought I'd do my first story time. I was living in my first apartment. And you know how when you want to get your first apartment, you're not really looking at things like you should be looking at things. So we had, I got my apartment, not in the best neighborhood. Okay, I admit that, not in the best neighborhood, not with the best name. So I get this apartment and it was in the winter when I got my apartment and around the summertime you know when it starts getting warm when they say things start coming out <laughs> things really did start um, one day out. I went in um, the shower as usual uh, to take a shower and then when I take it turned on the water it, it sounded like something um, I heard all these noises so I didn't know where the noises was coming from I didn't know it was coming from underneath where the toilet was i didn't know if it was underneath the walls i didn't know if it was coming from anywhere but i knew that the noise was i heard like this scratching noise like something scratching trying to get out i didn't come to realize that the scratching was coming from underneath the bathtub i don't know how it happened but it was some kind of way um a squirrel a raccoon or some kind of animal got trapped and got underneath where they put my bathtub so every single time i would take a bath you could hear the scratching and it was terrifying i'm in the tub you turn on the water you know you, you know how you got your everything going you got your candles lit nice and relaxing i got my my Anya, my vi or my violin music that I'm listening to, and I'm in re relaxed. Then mm -hmm. here comes the scratching, and I just jump out the tub. I'm like freaked out. I'm like, what is going on? Where's all this scratching coming? So I had to contact my landlord and say, hey, I don't know what's going on, but every time I try to take a shower. And I get in and I hear all the scratching. So I don't know if the scratching is coming from underneath the tub. I don't know if it's coming from the behind the walls. I don't know if it's coming by the toilet. But whatever it is, it needs to be remedied. Because I'm not going to be able to stay here if something doesn't happen so really soon. My landlord um, calls the city. And I didn't know. But come to find out, I'm in one of these old older apartment houses and they have to set some traps so they came out they put some traps underneath the house and apparently i don't know a day or two later um the trap is full so whatever rodent it was it was caught and after that time i never heard any of the scratching again until the next time because yes guys it happened more than once so this is something repeated repeatedly that happened every time it's fine while the weather is cold but as soon as the summertime comes i guess they say now that it's nice and warm they start coming out they want to have a little party underneath my bathtub why why underneath my bathtub till this day i don't understand why they like to go underneath the bathtub it must be something maybe because water drifts under there and they can get their drink on. They can have their little sippy sip of water. I don't know. But um, that's what happened. So that's my story time when I had a, a squirrel or a rodent trapped underneath my bathtub. So it got remedied, but they came back again. So my alternative was I actually had to move because... Um, is something that happened every single summer i have to deal with this rodent um being trapped underneath my back so that's my story time guys i hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> please comment like and subscribe for the next story time you guys let me know if you guys enjoyed this and you guys want to hear another story time
I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Be encouraged. Be inspired.